my second topic which is again very very important in my life 101 is about relationships rather than talking about relationships it is actually the art of liking people for who they are give it a thought actually if we start liking people for who they are our relationships will be more firm initially I was going to call this talk the art of relationships but we all have relationships. What makes them great depends upon how we relate to each other. Now this is actually a very very tricky topic and the most important one because I feel relationships happy it actually is a prelude to even all our happinesses. As relationships give form to how our lives shape up eventually the good and the ugly bits. You know, in Africa, Africans use an, an ancient word which is known as Ubuntu, which roughly translates to I am because you are. The immense wisdom in this word points to the truth that the way we relate to people has very real consequences for our sense of balance, health and productivity in life. I love this word Ubuntu because today even I am because you are. Anyone who has been spurned by an adult child or jilted by an ex-lover will tell you that the pain never really goes away. Even distant, long forgotten memories can shake your confidence to the core, playing a never ending and quite pointless real in the mind of where things went wrong and why and who was right and who was wrong. The way society is run these days, distances have gotten larger between people, both geographical and emotional. People are more independent and used to a certain space now. They've actually become so independent. And everyone, if you see right from a child to an adult, they'll say, I need my space. By all means, this is a good thing. Actually, ask any daughter-in-law. It just means that the tactics we use to deal with our relationships need to change. And we need to try harder at keeping in touch with how people need and how people are important to us and how the world at large is changing. So we need to keep in touch with ourselves. We need to, touch in, um, need to keep in touch with how people are changing. But yet, in spite of all these changes, in spite of wanting these spaces, still how important relationships to us. You need to be aware of this. Today I am going to share with you a 10 point checklist for nurturing a very healthy relationship. The first point which is so important is trust. Trust the other person. Acknowledge their feelings and thoughts. If you can provide support then great. But the most fundamental way to show that you trust someone is by paying attention to them. How many of us, if we are actually truthful to ourselves, can actually accept the fact that sometimes when people are talking to us, we are in our own world. We shut our minds and we are thinking about something else. And that feeling, we think is not related, but it actually reaches out to the other person. So the fundamental support is that you are paying attention to them. Share your point of view. Now, if you're paying attention to them and trusting what they're speaking, you can also share your point of view without negating the other's experience of events. This is important. Life is sure messy. It's not easy. Sometimes, despite not intending to, we hurt people. By brushing things aside, we hurt them again. So we need to address we need to acknowledge. Respect choices. It's okay to not like everything people do 
and vice versa it applies there's no need to get offended also you need to grant that other people have their own choices so we respect their choices the fourth comes security create an atmosphere where it's okay to express each other's views honestly without feeling attacked or betraying each other's love now love is not all that lightweight trust me you need to create that confidence you need to have that confidence in each other whether the relationships are to do with your partners whether it's to do with your parents whether it's to do with your siblings or your own children now confidence in each other creates a security and you should have that confidence that when we are talking to each other we are not attacking or we are not betraying now this is also in other words known as constructive criticism but this construction part will only come if you have confidence in each other and this confidence comes when we respect each other when we have faith in each other we trust each other it's okay to take time out and sleep without resolving a fight i remember in our days they used to always say that please resolve all your fights before you go to sleep now i felt that no it's not right you are stressed out into in fact trying to resolve a, a fight before you sleep gone are those days for me it was it's okay let me take time out let me sleep over what has offended me so it's okay if i sleep without resolving a fight because through my sleep i would probably think over it see and how i can address this problem later on so often the best way to resolve a fight is to wait a few days and agree to talk or meet somewhere away from that crime scene it shows maturity and respect for each other and please switch off your mobiles when you are having this heart to heart talk often we do take out time we do sleep without resolving a fight and the next time when we are wanting to address the situations we also ensure that our mobiles are on so that we don't miss out on calls now that loses all the essence of everything so switch off those phones when you are having one to one talk it has to be just you and me give your time nothing can substitute for time spent together not even your phones or your sms's or your whatsapp messages or your forwards like people think sending forwards is very good according to me it is okay you've got something and you've sent it forward because you've liked it but it cannot substitute for the time that you spent together if you have to schedule it put a reminder on your phone or use your phone for that prioritize it if it's important enough you meet, need to make time for it so see how relationships uh, can be given priority and they'll be given pri uh, priority only if you feel that they are important for you so you will make time for it be honest but kind make it your business to be interested in each other's lives and if you are not then drop the pretense now if i love my people or if i love my clients i will be honest in telling them when i'm doing their personal consultations with their astrological charts what are their negatives and positives and i realized that my honesty became my usp because i could truthfully tell my clients what are their positives what are their negatives why is their attitude suffering because i do believe that attitudes is your altitude but when i am being honest i am not attacking my clients i am just making them aware because i love them and the relationship with my clients is important to me if it is not important to me then i have to drop the pretense of being a counselor i have no business to be a counselor so i need to speak the truth so honesty is very important in any kind of relationship know when it is time to let it go so the eighth is let it go life is not a facebook 
you can defriend people who are only spectators and not active participants in your life trust me learn to let go learn to let go of people who are actually <coughs> draining your nerves who are actually not bringing in that positivity or where you feel that i have to just keep up this pretense no you can drop them from your life the relationships then you have are the ones that are in your life they will enrich in the real relationships in your life so believe in quality not in quantity ninth invest in a small strong network that you can count on normally what happens if you see you look into the facebooks or you look into all these accounts that are floating around on online you will see they are more interested in how much network each one has now whether that network is worth it or not whether it is strong or not doesn't matter here my perception is invest in a small strong network that you can count on this is much harder to build and easier to take for granted and yet the only thing which will make your ship easier to sail in rough weathers and keep you going strong the tenth last but not the least fight for your relationships relationships that really mean to you fight for it not literally i don't mean violence of any kind because that is harmful some relationships are so special that you cannot just let them go without a proper attempt at fixing things even if it doesn't work out at least you'll be satisfied that you tried your best now based on these 10 points i would appreciate if you could share your own stories write it down in your diary what are the relationships that are more important to you and how you are going to make them work so foster your relationships and realize what they mean to you thank you